New at six, the coronavirus outbreak forcing a lot of businesses to close. And for the businesses that remain open, they're having to operate much differently, like local veterinary clinics that are still seeing pets. Stephanie Cerna talked with the veterinarian at the Northern Oaks Bird and Animal Hospital about how they're working to treat pets while still keeping pet owners safe. Retrieving pets from SUVs and cars and consulting pet owners right outside their vehicle windows. It's the new normal for the staff at the Northern Oaks Bird and Animal Hospital. So at this point, we are providing valet service for all of the pets. We um, have no clients in the building because we're trying to maintain our safe social distance. In order to stay open, we want to be as safe as we can for both our clients and for ourselves so that we can stay open and, and remain healthy for everyone. The staff also deep cleaning every 45 minutes. We've divided ourselves into two teams, so we are not overlapping. So in case anybody gets sick on one team, then we can still work the other team. Um, so our teams are not overlapping at all. And you can see the signs on the door instructing people to stay in their vehicles and call the office when they get here. And the pet owners we talked to today say they're okay with that. This is why I like this protocol because we're, we're protecting her. Because if we don't protect her, we're not, we're not going to have our pets taken care of. So this is awesome. Love it. I mean, this is the, the best thing to do. I and mean, we love her. She's awesome. All right. The doctor will call you shortly. Barbara Biscato says she's so glad Dr. Bird could see her dog, Bella V today. I just know she's well taken care of and I don't even have to be there, you know, and that's very important to me. We're still trying to take care of everybody's pets because the worst thing that happens in a health crisis is to let pets also suffer and then clients have their emotional suffering that goes along with it. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.